Today, we're diving into the exciting world of Samsung's latest innovation in their mid-range lineup, the Exynos 1580 Celsi. This chip is set to power the upcoming Galaxy A56, so let's break down all the juicy details and what this means for you. Every year, Samsung rolls out a new mid-range Exynos chip developed in-house for the Galaxy A-series. While the premium Exynos 2500 might be facing some competition from the recently announced Snapdragon 8 Elite, the mid-range segment is in full swing with promising developments. Today, we're focusing on the newly unveiled Exynos 1580, and guess what? Samsung didn't make a big deal out of it, and frankly, that's a smart move. Let's get into the specs of the Exynos 1580. Samsung's tagline for this chip is super smooth, extremely efficient, and it's hard not to agree when we look at what it brings to the table. First up, we've got a state-of-the-art 4 nanometer EU FinFET process. This is crucial for performance and power efficiency. Then there's the three cluster CPU setup, Featuring one Cortex A720 core clocked at 2.9 GHz, three additional A720 cores at 2.6 GHz, and four A520 cores running at 1.95 GHz. For graphics, the Exynos 1580 comes equipped with the Xclipse 540 GPU, promising a delightful gaming experience. It also includes an AI engine packed with a 6K MAC NPU adding another layer of efficiency and a capability to handle heavy computational tasks. Support for LPDDR5 memory means faster data handling, and HEV Plus display support at an impressive 144Hz is perfect for smooth scrolling and gaming. Plus, the chip supports an incredible 200MP camera along with 4K video encoding and decoding at 60 frames per second. And of course, connectivity options are on point with Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.4, and 5G compatibility. Now let's highlight some standard up features that make this chip a real contender in the mid-range market. Samsung advertises that the NPU can perform a staggering 14.7 trillion operations per second. With a boosted memory capacity of two megabytes, this ensures that AI features run smoothly, enhancing everything from photography to gaming. Speaking of gaming, the Xclipse 540 GPU is a game changer. Unlike its predecessor, it features an additional workgroup processor, bringing the total to 2 and a significantly improved GL2 cache. You can expect a 37% performance improvement over the previous generation, with 20% more efficiency under the same power conditions. This spells great use for gamers who want solid performance without the heat issues. But it doesn't stop at gaming. The Exynos 1580 is designed for a superior camera experience as well. It introduces a motion refinement feature, which along with a large sum of absolute differences, Say goodbye to noise in your low-light videos. This chip ensures your captures are clear and vivid, highlighting detailed edges like never before. So when can you expect to experience everything the Exynos 1580 has to offer? Well, it's likely to debut with the Galaxy of 50 sticks, which we anticipate will launch early next year following Samsung's usual yearly schedule. This chip positions the A50 sticks as a must-watch device in the mid-range smartphone market. In summary, the Exynos 1580 may not be the flashiest chip on the market, but it's crafted to deliver a balance between performance, efficiency, and remarkable features, exactly what Samsung aims for in their mid-range devices. If you're excited about the Galaxy F56 and the power of the Exynos 1580, let us know in the comments below. And if you want to keep up with the latest tech news, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, stay tech savvy. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. 
In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. 
Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to oversharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.